Okay, so we're going to start with two circles. They are 10 centimeters apart on from their center, so let's call that center O. That's center P, so OP is 10. Each radii is 3 and 5, and I'm looking for the length of the common internal tangent, so I'm going to draw that in. So the common internal tangent should go through the center and be tangent to both circles. So if I draw a radius from center P out to the corner, to the edge there, to that point of tangency, I should get a right angle. And the same thing down to that point of tangency, I also get a right angle. The radius meets a tangent at a right angle, so I know that those are right angles. So this here is 5, and this one is 3. So I'm going to show you guys two separate ways of solving this type of problem. The first way I think is a little bit more algebraic, but it makes more intuitive sense. So I'm going to look at the two triangles that are formed, and I know that this angle and this angle are both congruent because they are vertical angles. So I've got a right angle and the blue angle, a right angle and the blue angle, so it looks like those two triangles are similar. If that's true, then I can set up a proportion. So let's call this length here x, this piece of the triangle. Then this one here would have to be 10 minus x because those centers are 10 units apart. So I know that 3 over 5 equals x over 10 minus x, and I can solve that. 30 minus 3x equals 5x. So 30 equals 8x divided by 8. And x is, well, that's 15 over 4, which is 3.75. So x is 3.75, and that other piece of the triangle is 10 minus x. So 10 minus 3.75 gets us 6.25. So now I have two right triangles here, which means I can use Pythagorean theorem for both of them. So let's call this piece here A, and that piece there B, and I'll solve for A and B separately. So 3 squared plus A squared is X squared, so that's 3.75 squared, and A squared is 5.0625, so a is 2.25. I just took the square root of that number. So same idea for B. 5 squared plus B squared equals 6.25 squared. So B squared is 6.25 squared minus 25. That's 14.0625. And if I take the square root of that, I get B as 3.75. So together, A plus B give us the length of that common internal tangent. So 2.25 plus 3.75 get us 6. I guess I'll call that 6 units. So that's one way of solving this. And I think this makes sense in terms of similar triangles. And we can make sense of this. I'm going to show you guys a way that might be a little bit more of a shortcut. Um, but it's a little bit less intuitive. So we need our two circles again. We need our common internal tangent. I'm still going to draw the same picture. So this length is 5. Right angles. This length is 3, and I still know that this length here is 10 between the two centers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the longer radius three units. So this is just one straight line that's been extended three units. And I wanted to extend it three units because I want to make a rectangle. So if we look at this right here, this is a rectangle, right? I've extended this right angle. So if this is three and that's three, and we have right angles here, so we have a rectangle. The common internal tangent length, this length here, is also that length up there. So what I really need to do is solve for x. So let's take a look at this bigger triangle. Do you guys see this right triangle here? So we've got a right angle. One side is 8. 
remember this side is 10 because the distance between the two centers was 10, so x has to be 6. That means that the common internal tangent is the same length. So that way might be a little bit quicker, but it's a little bit less intuitive, and you'll have to remember to kind of create your rectangle.